believe it or not, just under 50 days away from this Labor Day weekend's tournament at Inverness Club. And work never stops at the club. Keeping it in prime playable condition is a seven-day week job that begins well before dawn. Inverness Club Superintendent John Zimmers is the leading man behind the scenes, overseeing the team manicuring the course for the members and, of course, the Solheim Cup. Zimmers, no stranger to marquee tournaments. After training under legendary superintendent Paul Latshaw, he spent 18 years at Oakmont prepping the course for two U.S. Opens, a U.S. Women's Open, and U.S. Am. Now in his fifth year at Inverness, he takes immense pride in letting the course shine. You know, you have to really embrace this. So we, we pretty much work seven days a week uh, until we get into that December or January through February. The grass doesn't stop growing and there's always projects. And it's more than just mowing grass. I miss a lot of weddings, a lot of family functions. It's generally 10, 12 hours a day. And then once we really start to get closer to building all the corporate villages and et cetera, then the days get longer because the vendors are working longer and you know somebody always needs something and there's always uh, there's always something going on. We started preparing for Solheim from our perspective probably a year or two years ago. I, I really love what I do and I, I really love trying to take uh, people that want to get into business and really mentor them. I think the thing about Inverness, it's the history of it and the greatest of the great have come through here and they've played the game and they've won here. I think that's always, you know, part of the whole conversation and, and the experience when, when people come here. Um, and you want it to be something that they talk about when they leave. It, it's fun. The membership really comes out here and enjoys it and has a great time. And it's challenging. It's a hard golf course and, you know, I kind of grin a little bit, but it's getting harder too. I always look at the plaque and it says, you know, historical national landmark. I mean, how many people get to really have an opportunity to do that? BCSN's Joel Sebastianelli followed Zimmers and his team around as they prepped Inverness for a weekend tournament a few weeks back. We'll have that story for you tomorrow evening right here on Sports Nightly.